Let me call you back. I'm doing something important. Trying to get these racks. New day, new flight that I'm boarding. All of my... Oh, even this early in the season, it's becoming clear who the true title contenders are. But there is still a lot that could change. There could be some big-time players on the move before midseason. This is when general managers start mapping out their trade strategy. They might not want to make deals right away, but a few teams will look very different by the trade deadline. What a find by Jones. Some high IQ basketball. Here's the wings with the ball. And here's Harris. Pass to Ogumawale. Now Harris. And here's Thornton. Just five on the clock. Dudes over this is incredible. And there's a shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. Thomas, picked by Mrs. Incredible. Inside, McCowan with the steal. Gordon outside. Pass to Savoli. Here's Harris. Clock at six. Now Gumbawale launches it. Gets it to go from downtown. What a score Ogubanwale is, a primetime threat to shoot off the deck. But looking back to the last decade, the 2010s, it was an up and down 10 seasons for the Connecticut Sun, winning one playoff round in the first seven years of the 2010s. Deflects the pass and stolen by Satu Sabali. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Outside Ogubanwale. Thornton outside. They double her with Bonner. A shot by Thornton, no good. And for Connecticut in the 2010s, they were really good in the back half of the decade. Yeah, 20 plus wins in the final three years of the 2010s, culminating with a finals appearance in 2019. The Sun franchise is really turning things around. Now here's Harris. Pass to Thornton. Sabali. Sabali the screen. Kept alive. McCowan. And the layup's good off the glass. What an absolute force McCowan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. Back to Thomas. Down low. Great pass to set up the land. And her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Dallas leading. Outside of Wale to the inside. McCowan with the bucket. And the understanding Arike possesses just has a feel for when someone on her team is open. Outside Williams. Pick by Mrs. Incredible. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up, two shots next. First personal foul. Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was Arike Ogumbawale's team, and boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. Now here's Mabry, Collier. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. Well, Mabry has a pretty sharp passing game. She won't let an open shot go to waste. Hartley outside. Back to Sims. Bonner, Gray defending. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Collier. Pass to Gray. Back to Gumbawale. Shoots over Hartley. And there are the wings with another bucket. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down 
and make them oh. shoot jumpers. Wings and count the That's basket. She was fouled, and she's going to the line for one more. Number it's going to be on Charlie Collier. Now here's Mabry. Bray outside. Pass to Gungawale. The floater. This is incredible with the rebound. Connecticut trailing. Here's Hartley. No good. Nice D from Charlie Collier. Here's the wings with the ball. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. A Goomba Wale shot is good. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. You cannot stop both sides of the Sims pick and roll. She can dish, she can score. This time, she gave up the rock. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. 10, Dallas, 13. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the wings, what do you guys think? I like what I've seen from them defensively. They forced a lot of turnovers with quick hands. Yeah, they've been aggressive. Those active hands producing steals early. Now here's Sabalin. She hasn't yet put up any points yeah. in this one. Wow. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. Here's Gray. That three off the mark. Alicia Gray won a national championship with the final game played in Dallas. And just a few days later, Gray was selected fourth overall by, I guess, in Dallas. Yeah, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look. Harris with it. Marina Mabry on the wing. Shoots the three. It's up and it's off the mark. One up, one not down. Pass to miss is incredible. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. And Alicia Gray winning Rookie of the Year for the Wings in 2017. Yeah, she hit the ground running in this league, and Gray has really never looked back. With nice size for a guard, Gray is your prototypical two guard. Here's Gray. The Wings with another miss. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. To the paint, McCowan with the steal. Pass to Gray. And so she earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact. And so she too. It's going to be on Mrs. Incredible. First trip to the line for her here. Yeah, in Gray's first season, she actually led all rookies in points scored per game. And she was simply effective right from the start. Well, the Wings have been in Dallas since 2016. But before that, so they had two other stops as a franchise. Joining the league in 1998 in Detroit, and then a move to Tulsa in 2010. Here's Mrs. Incredible. It's good as five others before it were. He's now shooting six for seven. She is definitely making her presence felt here in the first half, shooting it so efficiently. Now here's Mabry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. A beautiful reverse layup. Going back to when the Wings were in Detroit, they had so much success. Winning three titles in Motown, just like the bad boy Pistons of the late 80s and early 90s, their hallmark was tough defense, taking on the identity of their city. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Now here's Gray to the inside. McCowan with the bucket. Just like the coaches drew it up, he's a hoop. Gray with the perfect feet. And the Sun call time here.
And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Pass to Cloudon. Now here's Williams. In the first half, two minutes. And here's Mrs. Incredible. Now Cloudon. Pick by Mrs. Incredible. Shot clock at six. And can't cash in from close range. Dallas leading. Thornton outside. Pass to Gray. Here's a good Wale. Back to Gray. Collier. The rebound by Courtney Williams. This is incredible with it. To the left side wing. Here's Cloudon. And again, no good by Connecticut. And it's the wings ball. Outside of Gungawale. To the middle. McCowan with the bucket. Obviously, McCowan's six-seven size helps her down low, but she also has a little host of ways to beat you and some nice touch. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They gotta score. And there's the call on Agumba Wale. That's her first foul. Both teams will make substitutions. First team foul. Dallas on D. Three-point lead. Inside. This is incredible. It's good. The assist that time from Courtney Williams. And they can go two for one. Most importantly, play it smart. Back to Gray. Pass to Gumbawale. Shot clock at five. Shoots from 12, and she makes that one. The pick and roll game is the bread and butter for Olga Manuale. Loves working off picks and finding little spaces to operate. Down low. Here's Mrs. Incredible. Hits that one. Nice pass, leading her to the bucket. She is feeling it, shooting a terrific percentage from the field. There's a Goomba Wale with the three. And no good trying to get that one. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going. a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. You have to like what we're seeing from Mrs. Incredible. What I noticed more than anything about her first half offense was she didn't waste her opportunity. She made just about every good look she had. And they were pretty much all good looks. I mean, her shot selection has been phenomenal throughout the game. Agun Wale. She's guarded by William. They get it back. And another shot. McCowan yeah. with the bucket. It's so fun to see McCowan pour it in tonight. A true center. Don't see too many like her anymore. Oh, for the last several seasons, the Wings have been a young team. Searching for a solid core, making a lot of high draft picks. Here's Mrs. Incredible. Dallas with the rebound. Now Harris. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Yeah, she's a big reason why they have the lead because, look, she's made all of her field goals so far and remains a hot hand. And for this Dallas Wings organization, they're hoping the investment in youth pays off. I think it will. You know, they're building things the right way here in Dallas and not taking any shortcuts. This is going to be a fun team to watch for years and years. Well, when we talk about the best teams in Sun history, I think that 2019 squad comes up first, going 23-11 in the regular season and then reaching the WNBA Finals. For the Sun in 2019, they got so close to their first championship. Yeah, Blake, I mean, they lost to Washington in the finals. That series going the full five games. Still, that 2019 team has a special place in the heart of Connecticut fans. And players like John Quill Jones, Courtney Williams, Alyssa Thomas, just a talented group that they still love in Connecticut. 
This incredible can't get it to go. Ugly start to the second half, missing their first four. They need to get on track. Pass to Harris. Back to Thornton. To the inside. McCowan. And out of bounds. The Sun will take it. The Sun making a switch here. Checking in for your son. with the three and the release was before the buzzer but it's off part we're at the end of the third quarter and we all right we welcome you back to what's been a hard fought battle fourth quarter should be good pass to cloud inside a nice shot right? this is incredible and this game is tied up now the second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy juice. Very well done. And no lack of aggression on that move. That's good enough for the 2K drive. Well, it's all about breaking the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Five to shoot. Now here's Collier. Fires for three. The rebound by Hartley. Even with the decent coverage that time, she has every bit of confidence to drill that three. Absolutely, just keep shooting. I wouldn't bet against her the next time she's in that situation. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Alicia Gray. She's guarded by Williams. The screen by Collier. Rena Mabry for three. Out of bounds, it'll be Sun Ball. Substitution on the court. Here's Hartley. Out of bounds, it'll go to the wings. Substitution on the court. Dallas with the ball, trailing by two. We've gone about one and a half minutes into this fourth quarter. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. Sabali the screen. Four on the clock. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Sun. Bonner outside. The miss is incredible. Back to Bonner. Now here's Thomas, covered by Harris. 11 feet out, and that one goes long. Here's the wings with the ball. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Now here is McCowan. D right on her. Harris with it. Tries to snap the cold streak. And good, coming off the assist by Kayla Thornton. Well, guards like Harris need to be able to stretch the floor. And there, she does. To the middle. This is incredible. McCowan defending. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. A little over two and a half minutes have passed by now here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Agumawale. Thornton outside. Back to Agumawale. And that's a foul called on Odyssey Sims. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Pass to Thornton. And here's Harris. Side of Wale. Back to Thornton. Here's a Wale. She's covered by Sims. Four on the shot clock. Thornton outside. Offensive rebound. Here's Harris. Agumbawale. 
screen by McCowan. Over Sims. And Dallas again with the bucket. Just a fearless competitor. It's obvious. Arike Ogubinwale loves taking over during important possessions. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. To the paint. Here's misses incredible. And that one drops for it. Staying engaged throughout the course of the game allows Thomas to make crisp, precise passes to her open teammates. Now here's Agumawale. 16 feet out. Buries the jump shot. It's what Ogunbun Wale is known for. Hitting the biggest shot. She burst on the scene in college with championship winning buckets. Jones. By Savoy. Back to Bonham. Picked by Mrs. Incredible. Six to shoot. Bonner. And misses it off the right side of the rim. So it's Dallas now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Now here's Agubawale. She's guarded by Williams. We talk about players drafted and entering the league in the late 2010s. Arike Okobanwale is one of the few who still uses the mid-range. Now here's Thomas. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Well executed possession and a well controlled shot. So it's Dallas now. And they commit the intentional foul and we'll see another one of those so that they can get into the penalty. That's right, no other option but to foul and, you know, just hope for some misses. Yep, they have to extend the game and use every last second on that clock. And so they foul intentionally. And no good as the first free throw misses for her. We'll see if she can nail the second. And she does get the second. And that will put them up too. And the Sun call time here. Guys, what do you think? It all comes down to this. Enough time still in the clock that they should be able to get a good look. Yeah, there's always the debate of whether to take a two to tie or a three to win. But if it were up to me, I'd pound it down low and try to get a good shot in tight. I'm with you, Brian. Just, just get the two points and keep the game alive. The nine-foot shot. Got it! A huge shot to tie it up. Talk about the closure in the clutch. Thomas knows how to stay in control when it matters most. Takes a step back. Goale from long range. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. Regulation is it. Well, if you love great competition and neck-and-neck -neck basketball action, this has been a great game. Overtime one, getting going here right now. Outside Mabry. Gray outside. Six on the shot clock. Got a hand on it. But they get it back. Here's Savoli. They get the rebound. McCowan with the bucket. This game is shaping up to be a special one. Yeah, it does have that feel of a classic. Now, let's see which team is better equipped to handle the pressure, because it's not easy. Now, here's Bonner. Count it. Big time by Bonner. She's won a couple of titles. She's been in these situations. Dallas calls timeout. The wings making a change here. Dallas with the ball. Gray up top. She's guarded by Williams. And here's Satu Savali outside. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. Seems to elevate her play when it matters most. Savali makes big plays in big moments. And the Sun call time here.
It's extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. Down low. This is incredible. Banked in off the glass. Outstanding entry pass. He knew exactly where to go with that ball. And here is Gray. Shoots over Williams. And that one hits back iron. But he did a good job of clogging the middle once he got inside. In overtime here, a minute and a half off the clock. And stolen by Gray. And the rebound goes to the Sun. Outside Williams. Pick by Mrs. Incredible. Over Gray. Here's Mrs. Incredible. Yes, they get the go-ahead bucket. Strong rebounding, and she gets the easy putback as a result. outside. It's good from beyond the arc. Certain players shine in big moments. Gray is one winning a national title back in college. And Courtney Williams, here we go. Thornton brings the double team. Pass to Heidemann. Thomas left side. Williams. Connects! She has tied up this game! Oh, what a shot! A player who thrives during key moments. Williams is hard to shut down. Her ball handling abilities get her out of jams and get her looks. Nine foot shot. It's good! Yes, Sobley stepping up. What an option late. She can do everything offensively. And Sachi can get a shot over almost any defender coming up big. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And an intentional foul right there. Time called here. The wings decide to talk it over. Here's Gray, and that's an intentional foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Well, Gray understands the importance of these moments. Very comfortable under pressure. That was a critical trip to the stripe. They have a two-possession lead now. And up the court come the wings on the break. Thornton's shot is good. That just adds to what's probably already an insurmountable lead. I think they'll be leaving here with a win. Yeah, hard to imagine any other outcome than the one that's staring us right in the face. Pass to miss is incredible. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. Jones outside. Here's Mrs. Incredible. And the ball out of play. The Wings will have it. In for the Wings, Tierra McCowan.